had a little resistance to it. There we go. Oh, little guy. <laughs> well, you know what you know what I say. Every fish is good fish. Alright, hey, healthy little fella. Hey, hey, alright. loose here. Hey, settle down. Settle down. Settle down. Get you on out of there. All right. Okay. Oh, if you just if you just settle on down. There we go. All right. I don't like that much. Lively, pretty, very, very, very lively. Very pretty. Look, look at that. Very pretty. And I'm that guy with the fish. And in this video, we're going to be talking about tips and tricks of casting in the wind. That isn't blowing right now. Let's add some drag effect. Cue the wind noise. We're going to be casting in the wind. Watch the video. You might learn something. I'm going to learn you something. Oh my god. Oh! Hi! Where'd you come from? How long have you been standing there? Someone needs to put a bell on your ass. That's just creepy, dude. Creepy. Well, that's okay. I love you anyways. Anyways. Um... It's not fleas, it's mange. Uh, uh, like that guy at the begin beginning of the video was talking about, uh, the wind, fishing, casting the wind. There's a couple of things you need to know. Uh, the weather is supposed to turn a little bit, eh, has the chance of being a little meh. Uh, so I'm going to put on my MC Hammer pants and my rain gear. That aside, a uh, few little things you need to know about windy days, because it may be the only day that you get to fish. Like myself, this is really the only day, because for the last month, the only days I've really had that were nice were none. So, yeah, a windy day might be the only day. Rain storms whatever what have you if it's the if that's the opportunity you have take it you might learn something and i want to try to help you help those days be more productive all right all right a few things you need to know about about the wind now the wind uh disturbs the water surface it uh enough wind will actually push that surface bait to wherever the wind goes. So go with the wind. Wherever the wind is blowing, go towards that bank and fish that bank because that's going to work to your advantage. One, you can cast downwind and that bait will be carried so you can sit a little bit further off. And two, if you can get an eye on that bait, mimic that bait and bring it, bring it to you because that's going to that wind is going to force those bass up shallow because they're going to follow the bait. They're going to follow their food source. So you go towards the wind, go towards the bank. The wind is blowing against and you cast with the wind into the water, obviously, into the bait. 
and work it back towards you. You kind of work that bank. And that's the same with the river as well. If there's a bow in that river and that wind is blowing up against that bank, fish that. You might find yourself getting lucky with fish. Unless you're one of those really odd ones who are into that sort of thing. I, no judgment. Just It is a little odd. Any of that makes sense? I've been kind of running... You know, half cocked all, all morning. Um, of course, that's pretty much been my MO for decades. Huh. I guess I ought to fix that. Yeah, it's worked for me so far. Anchor. Uh, Having a front-mounted or a back-mounted anchor is going to help you loads in the wind. I've said it time and time and time and time and time again in, in my videos that having an anchor, in my case, a front-mounted anchor is is absolutely paramount. Get your you know, any kind of setup. At first, when I first started kayaking, I had a dog leash and a five pound like lifting anchor attached to it kind of rigged up and I just tossed that in the water and rigged it to my kayak and that worked for the most part but having an anchor especially mounted towards the front to where it puts the bow of your boat in into that wind or into that current We, we better hurry. <laughs> uh, okay. Um, is really going to help you, especially if, if you're, you know, fishing a particular uh, structure or something and the wind is trying to blow you downstream, in my case. Or if you're on a lake or a reservoir and it's trying to blow you off that structure, trying to blow you off that hump, that hill, that that group of rocks, what have you. Having some way to mount yourself in in that general vicinity can help you loads. Now, granted, too high a wind, you're going to need a bigger anchor. I use a five, five pound anchor, which isn't really an anchor. Um, I, it's called a cannonball sinker. It's designed for deep sea fishing to like to fish in hundreds of feet, if not thousands of feet of water. And they get big. I had no idea they, that sinkers were made that big. I'll give you a look at it real quick. Uh, so it's just a deep sea anchor and it comes with this uh, kind of this plastic coating and it's worn off and the anchor started rust, but it's still pretty good. I originally spray painted it red, which I need to do again, but it has, it already comes with a mounting point and it has another um, uh, where you can put like an outrigger or uh, a leader or something from the back. I just pound that down with a hammer. Suppose you could just cut it off but it was just simpler just to pound that down with a hammer so it doesn't get hung up on brush. And, and that's that's a four and a half pound, five pound deep sea sinker, cannonball sinker. Really, really, and it was really inexpensive. Uh, anyways, um, when I first got, got that, that was, I want to say it was eight or nine dollars. And then after that one, I bought another one. I think it was only like uh, $12, $13. And if you compare that to kayak anchors, anyways, the, those cannonball anchors, really inexpensive compared to what they sell as kayak anchors. Those things are $40, $50, $60. Save yourself some money. If I can get my brain to work. All right, we need to get on, get on the water. We don't have a lot. Let's get on the water. We'll talk more about the casting techniques. And that wind is windy. Windy. Let's just get on the water. That water is chilly.
And if you're going to do a wind video, maybe it should be in the wind. Is that better? All right. All right, there you go. You're looking great. You're looking just fine. All right. All right, first and foremost. That anchor, you see that anchor right down there? Yeah. Wind's blowing. Anchor down. Let's talk about casting in the wind and different tips and tricks. First tip I'm going to give you is add a little bit more weight. If you're using... So I got a wacky rig here. I've got a little, I think this is uh, 3 8 ounce weight. And I like these in particular because it hits, it'll hit the, uh, the bottom there and you can pop it up. It comes through cover really well. I like these. Don't know what they're called. If I find it, I'll put it right at the bottom there. Anyways. Those are really nice. Add a little bit more wind, or add a little bit more wind. Anyways, add a little bit more weight to whatever you're using, whether it be a te Texas rig, wacky rig, what have you. Uh, let's say you, the wind is blowing into your face or at your back and you see a good spot off to your side. Try side casting. Now I've got a weightless wacky rig right here. And that looks like a good spot. Try casting to the side. Keep it as close to the surface. Skipping. Picking up a skipping technique will serve you wonders. Now granted, keep your line as close to the wa close to the water. Keep your cast as close to the water as possible. We're going to try that again because that really does look like a good spot. So keep, keep your cast as low to the water as possible. Now remember that little tip I gave you about adding more weight? Find yourself a heavier bait it's something with a little bit more salt in it is that a bite that felt like a bite am i just hung oh i see it a <laughs> uh, little panfish messing with my bait and i mean little felt that thump. and then he came back and thumped them anyways all right Here's another tip, I, another good bait for when it's windy, especially here. The summer is coming. It is still technically spring, but let's face it, for those of us here in the south, summer is here. So, top water bait. And I'm going to have a vi video co come out in a couple of weeks for my top baits for the summer. But a top a whopper plopper. Oh, that was ugly. Um, don't do that. Of course, this line is pretty old, so. And I need to replace it. Oh, that was ugly. Okay, there we go. Let's try that again. And uh, try. We need to put a little bit more break on that. Try Whopper Plopper. That wind is going to disturb that, that top surface, that surface water, and that's really going to make that whopper plopper really effective. I mentioned this before, but pointing your boat into the wind and having your uh, the back of the boat, the, the uh, stern of the boat, whatever, you want to be technical about it. Uh, point some part into the wind, that will help you significantly. If you're casting downwind, it'll help your cast go a little bit further. Again, 
continue to use something a little bit heavier so you're not having to retie them. Or if you have multiple rods and reels, you know, make the adjustments as you see fit. Let's see if we can't get something. And I forgot to put on my MC Hammer pants and sunblock, so sorry, honey. I, I, I might come home a little toasty. That's okay. But you know, the ginger persuasion, it does happen. Well, this is great. River's starting to get a, come back alive. A little bit more green in the river. It looks fantastic. Nice and clear. I was afraid. We got a, a nice storm yesterday. I was afraid that it might muddy up the water a bit. But I'm glad it didn't. I'm glad it didn't. Alright, um, I touched on it briefly about using bait casters in the wind. If you're fishing in the wind with a bait caster and you're insistent on doing it, then tighten up your tension knob. Give it, a, Make it a little bit tighter so when, when you click it and you get a little jiggle, it just barely falls. Now this is actually a little bit tight, but that's just how I like it. There we go. Not, I mean, normally you want a slow, steady cascade in normal circumstances. But in the wind, you don't want all that. You'll save yourself a lot of backlashes that way. That is, uh, that was, uh, yeah, that's not looking great. This is, this is one of those times my wife uses my middle name. <sighs> that wind is definitely starting to pick up. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we might want to start heading for the ramp. Drop in the comments which one I'm going for. Can you guess? Here comes the rain. Oh, oh I got bit then. Oh, it's time to go. It's time to get under the bridge. It's time to go. It's <laughs> it's time to go. <laughs> no sense in getting out here soaked because I didn't bring my wet gear. That's fine. Lost the fish. Great. All right, I got my flip flop and the fish. All right, that's a good start uh, or end of the day. Oh, I'm all discombobulated here. Oh, what, what am I doing? What in God's name am I doing? There we go. All right. All right. Okay. 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 We can get situated here. Bad, not bad. Not bad, not bad. Hmm. It's been a tough bite today. 
you know, not not to mention the rain and kind of sitting around trying to figure them out. But finally got a decent one in the boat that wasn't a dink. That, well, dinkish, anyways. Oh, anyways. Well, I think I'm gonna call it a day. Oh. Well, if you found this content helpful, subscribe. Anyways, I can go home, eat some lunch, and take a nap. Oh wait, no, I gotta get dinner started. Anyways, I'm that guy with the fish. Where are you at? One more. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> All of a sudden, I just saw my line take off. This is, well, that's not how it was supposed to work. Okay. <laughs> um, okay. Um, there's a little hole in my net and he just went right through it. Now I'm gonna just slip right through this little, this tiny hole. There we go. All right. All right. Um.